Welcome Shamrock family. Dr. Joe here still hunkered down in McHenry. There is some good news on the front, however. I'm sure you've seen that the golf courses are gonna open on Friday. So addicted golfers like myself are at least gonna get a chance to uh, play a little bit of golf. But I hope you are doing well. I hope you're staying safe and you're being healthy. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about a, uh, information sent out to everyone in the Shamrock family last week that talks about our Shamrock's Care Fund that we're trying to establish to help families at St. Patrick who are having some uh, severe uh, financial challenges these days. We're going to have our Giving Tuesday next Tuesday, which is May 5th, and we're going to coordinate the effort of uh, making contributions to this Shamrock Cares Fund. And if you do that, you'd be allowed to name someone on the front lines who we've been praying for and thanking for all the help that they've given us, whether it be doctors, nurses, or police, or fire, or paramedics. So you'll have an opportunity to make a gift. We've had some good success with it. We've raised over $7,000 for the Shamrock Cares account, and we're going to run that through uh, the month of May. But we are going to highlight it next Tuesday, which is Giving Tuesday, and you'd be allowed to name someone uh, with your do donation for that uh, Shamrock Cares Fund. And then all the frontliners who are named will end up on our wall of fame of our uh, first responders. So it's a great way to recognize so many in our Shamrock family that are helping and yet raise some money for the families at St. Pat that need some assistance at this time. So thanks for anything you can do with this and really know how much you are appreciated by all of us at St. Patrick High School, everybody working the front lines. So thank you. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us, live Jesus in our hearts forever.